All right, another three hole death match with Ryan and I. That's really good. A swooping draw, probably right in the center of the fairway. Here we go. So this is the first hole for, uh, for our death match, hole 16, 16, right, 16 at Lakewood, which is uh, a pretty Another. good course in Lakewood, California. Ryan, you, what did you do with your drive? I hit a nice draw down the middle, just left of the bunker. Yeah, Ryan completely bombed it, just left of the bunker. He's in a perfect spot, he's going to be about 140 out, maybe? And uh, I blocked it a little right in jail. Obviously, hopefully I'll have a good look at it. So we'll see. My ball right there. All right, so I have 130, and this shot is this is a 60 degree, which will only go a maximum 100 yards. So I'm not going to hit this. I hit a low four iron that scoots to the front left of the green. Oh boy, I got 50 yards to the hole now. All right, Ryan figures he's got 140 to the center downwind. It's a blue flag, so you're just gonna play at 140? He's gonna play at 140. Let's see, blue flag up there. Only a slight block there. How'd you do? About the center of the green. Pin high. Yeah, about the center of the green. Pin high or a little short, just yeah. maybe like a 20 footer. I just picked it off instead of hitting down on it. Ryan's in good shape, but it's not it's not a cinch birdie at all, so I really want to try to make a par here. I feel like I'm hitting up on this slightly. Fifteen feet, but just hit it too far. Hey, Ryan's got further than I thought. How many feet do you say this is? Forty-five uh, or fifty? Thirty-five, forty. Oh, thirty-five or forty. Either. Go, go. Short and left. Dude, these are greens are so hairy. Right just now. let it keep rolling. For par. This put us for par here. So Ryan's got 11 feet for par, and here's mine. From 20. Oh, that did. That's good. That's good. All right, half in bogey. First hole of the match, even though Ryan hit a perfect drive, he three putted for bogey. I hit a horrible drive, uh, pitched out, and then made two putts for bogey as well. So it's tied after one all square. You guys are being treated to some horrific golf, but uh, it's competitive at least. The next hole is going to be playing about 195 or 200 yards. Uh, you know, let's do a red pin, so probably 195. And it's uh, a par three with uh, a bunker short right and a bunker level left, which you don't want to be above it because it's it's pretty sloped, but uh, not super difficult. It's just really all about the tee shot.
trying to hold on the left side, but it's going a little bit left. Okay. Just the left fringe is pretty good, actually. Hold on. Over the bunker or in the bunker? I don't know. I it it fell real fast. I didn't see yeah, anything. Solid now. just blocked a little right. So it might it's better. I'm just thinking it. I'm still in a pristine body area in my head from being drunk. I was thinking Ciroc. I P U C R I Q. That? C I R O C. Oh, yeah. Right. What is Ciroc? It's a vodka, and it's, I mean, I hate vodka. It's just a brand of vodka? Or it's, yeah, it's a brand right, of vodka. Yeah. P. Diddy makes it. And it's oh, you, you ball. It's, no, it's is it expensive? Uh, it's more expensive, yeah. Oh, okay. But it's it's really... Now, what makes a good vodka? Just totally flavorless? Or nope. Um, there is flavor to it. There is flavor to all vodkas, yeah, but every vodka made, like, 99.99% of them. Yeah, yeah. It's made with, with berries. It's like one it's of a berry vodka, vodka yeah. and, but it's not girly tasting. No. Oh, the one cool. that we ended up getting was called berry, but so we got kind of a girly one. Okay. But I mean, you take a drink of this and you're just like, what the fuck? Now, do you mix it with anything? You, you just don't drink need it with to. It's so good, you don't want to mix water it. Water even? It's or? like mixing a good scotch with Oh, cool. Thing. You know what I'm saying? Brennan's second shot. You guys get to see it first. Oh, it kept running. I did the Sergio run on it because I thought it was... Ryan for birdie. Mm -hmm. Chipping. There it is, there it is. Oh, almost hold it. It's not breaking. It's going to be... Just outside the circle of friendship, though. <laughs> Brennan with his park bed. Really good putt. All right, one up, one to go. What, like when you have short putts like that, that you really want to make. What do you feel usually? What do you mean, like? You have short putts that you really want to make. Like, what do you, what do you do to kind of control them and keep them in the hole? I just think aggressive, the more the, the tighter it is. More of like a pop goes. stroke. Yeah. Yeah. More aggressive too. The final hole. Par five. We're all the way back at the rock here, and the rock says 557. So, wind may be helping just a little bit. There is a bunker way out there that's going to be right at where we would put it, so we have to avoid that. It's really good. Just at the right edge of the bunker, but a little right of it. You hit it perfectly. That is huge. That's way down here. Nice shot, Freddie. Thank you. Seventy, something like that. Decent lie. Yeah, good lie. All right, so I just wanted. There's a bunker up there at 100. I want to fade it off of that. Just solidly hit it. Give myself a wedge chance. It's 
is what I wanted, right side of the fairway. All right, Ryan has 240. Yeah, it's probably 260 or something. I think mine was more like 300. The green's all the way up there. Uh, yeah, he muffled it. Let's go near that bunker. Where'd it go? Oh, okay, past, past the first bunker at 100 yards. And so not the best shot, but a good, good wedge chance. Just, that practice swing is perfect. The tempo just got off off a of whack there. No, I just I gotta find a better um, good way to take it back, take my clip back. Oh, for like a trigger to a start. Trigger to yeah. start, yeah. Alright, it says 81. Alright, 81 up and down for birdie. Which I basically need to have a chance of squaring Ryan. So I'm gonna hit a 54. Too solid. All right, Ryan's third shot. Oh, he hit it pretty good. Thank you. About eight feet, huh? That was yeah, a good one. About eight, eight, ten feet. Eight, ten feet for birdie. I have another. I think stuffed on. Twenty, twenty-five feet for birdie. Unfortunately, I have to make the putt to extend this death match. Oh, I'm. I'm in trouble here. I'm more like 35 feet. Oh. Very close. All right, Ryan has two putts to win. Steamroll, congratulations. All right, Ryan made five, I made five, Ryan wins one up. Congratulations. Ah, no! That was a uh, terrible defeat. Two bogeys and a par against Ryan, and I lost, even though I should not have. It was a pretty easy situation both times to extricate at least a par out of that. So to lose, Again, somebody that shot one over for three holes is pretty bad, but uh, anyway, life goes on. There is coming up very soon on this channel, if you've watched this far, then you have some modicum of interest in this. There is coming up with Monty Shinebloom, next week I am filming a driver lesson, which hopefully is going to completely transform my driver game, and I think is going to transform your driver game, the way my irons were transformed in this video, in the annotation with the amazing uh, impact iron lesson that I had with Monty. I think he's a former world long drive champion and I think he's gonna do the same thing for my driver. Really give me that pro impact that I want. Not hit all these low squirters to the right. Thanks for watching, stay tuned. Definitely hit subscribe right now if you're not a subscriber. If you are a subscriber, thank you. And click like or whatever else, make a comment. All right, bye.